The moment Obasanjo told Muigwe that he was too young to be a bank CEO. Death marks a remarkable moment in the record of humanity and it allows remembrance of how one's life is spent. This reminds many Nigerians about the life spent that the late former group Chief Executive Officer, GCEO of the Access Holdings PLC, Herbert Mwigwe. Mwigwe died in a helicopter crash in Nevada in the United States of America last week. He died alongside his wife, son, and business partner. However, Mwigwe's death has reminded many Nigerians how long he had wanted to become a bank executive, and most especially the alleged role of the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, in almost denying Wigwe's dream of becoming the bank's CEO. In 2001, Wigwe and his business partner, Aegoje Aeg Imokoide, has perfected their plans to acquire Access Bank POC after the two young men had served and gathered experience at the Guarantee Trust Bank, GTB. They met the financial wherewithal and other relevant obligations to become the CEO of Access Bank as a, at that time, but they were met with a total reject rejection as a section of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. Like I Emekude stated in his book titled Living the Tarmac, Buying a Bank in Africa, launched on March 29, 2021, their dream to become bank CEO was almost jettisoned by the facility they met at the table of the Director of Banking Supervision, Ignatius Imala, who was known for his conservative thinking and a tendency to be very suspicious of young bankers. Even Emekerde stated that the high-ranking executive at the CBN then knew their capability. There was no way for them to become bank CEO until the acquisition of the Access Bank was approved by Impala due to the mandate of his office. Emakwede and Wigwe separately confirmed that their dream to become bank CEO in, 20, in 2001 was delayed for years because they were considered too young to become a bank CEO. For being considered too young to become bank CEO, even though the duo had become the owner of Access Bank in March 2002, they were still not in control of the bank until April 17, 2003, where they assumed control of Access Bank. Besides, Mikwe was just the deputy managing director of the Access Bank until January 2014 when he became the bank's CEO. However, the question people debate is who could have been responsible for the claim that Mikwe and I and Imekwe Day was were too young to be one of the bank's CEOs. Former President Olusha Gobasanjo is being dragged by many Nigerians who have been behind the Imekwe Day's and Mikwe's too young to become bank CEO. Nigeria believed that Imala could not have acted without the consent of the then governor of the CBN, Joseph Oladili Sanusi, who must have been instructed by Chief Fulushego Basanjo to withhold Rigwe and Emekwede's bank CEO's mission. A member of the moment, Imala told Emekwede and Rigwe that they were too young to become bank CEO lives forever in them until the last breath of weekends last weekend. Only Chief Fulushego Basanjo can tell himself if he was truly the force behind the wing that almost blew away the mission of the two young men. As of 2001, both Emekwede and Migwe were 36 years old with years of experience in the financial sector. Now I'm asking myself, okay, fine. Is this what you're supposed to be discussing now? Okay, you want to dig up who offended them so that what can happen to them? Because I don't understand. Even as this man, as this, as this man's death, you know, him and his business partner died, a lot of things has been flying online and I'm like, what the heck is going on? What the heck is going on? It is wrong for us to say they are too young to be the bank, be the CEO of a bank because wisdom comes from God and not man. But is it really necessary now? That is what I'm asking. Somebody died and you are going to dig up something. Oh, they did not become this one. But the thing is, two of them, they became CEO right before they died. So they achieved their mission. I don't even think if they were here, they would allow this to be an issue. They are too busy. They have too. They, they are. They were still planning on, you know, getting better and improving on themselves. Come on now, this is not even necessary. I don't think that Robert Sanjo can plan their death. Yes, he may give advice that they are too young to become the CEO. I don't think that Robert Sanjo can plan their death. Yes, he may give advice that they are too young to become the CEO, but maybe he has seen what will come out. That is my opinion. 
So and they actually actually pointing the fingers OBJ that he killed them. Come on now. Why would they stop with the reason like this? When? Ha uh -uh. ha. How old was Obasanjo when he wrote this contract as the head of state? He said Bigo is too young to be a bank CEO. I'm just ask, I'm just passing. The thing is this is very unnecessary. Come on now. Come on. I laugh when somebody says somebody is too young for anything. The former president of Sierra Leone, ahead of stage, was 25 years. He was not the chief of army. He was not the chief of army staff or general staff, chief of navy or air force, but the head of state. Now the head of state of Burkina Faso is 35. Consider the performances. Well, me, this is what I'm going to say. Even while I'm screaming down, is this really necessary? I'm going to say, yes, it is wrong for you to come out and say somebody is too young. Because I've said it before with intentionality. I come in with a with a with a goal in mind that I'm intentional about this organization. I want to show this organization my skill. I want to show them that what they employed me for, I can actually do more than that. You understand? You can actually make it happen for yourself. As in you can get to a place and maybe they use five years for their promotion, but you get there in two, three years, they give you that promotion. Why? They have seen how intentional you are. You have proven that you are really, really intentional about that particular organization. Point of correction, Access Bank was not dead. I was an employee there. Okay. How old was OBJ when he was head of state? Or how old was Gowon when he ruled Nigeria for nine years? And his nine year rule produced the best governor in my state. The infrastructures on ground had not been matched to date. Access Bank was dead. He brought it back to life. Another became a very viable bank again. Any adult of city mind can take up any of his and challenges. That is why the old the old who should be given advice are still struggling with leadership with the young might in Nigeria. Point of corruption, Access Bank was not dead. I was an employee of there. It's you know staff for that matter. Access Bank was paying salary as at when due and functional in the clearing house. Please do not believe everything you hear on social media. Access Bank, like any other bank, went to the market to sell shares to raise additional capital and the shares were hijacked. The two young men knew what they did. Let us leave it at that. I'm telling you, I don't understand why they're even coming out to make it a thing now. Okay. Continue conference this One will be shocked by the lack of former rational and transparent corporate governance of these banks and the loss of the of the unorthodox opportunities practices which global find global players find abhorrent, making them to give Nigeria a, a very wide berth. The activities have also undermined the Nigeria economy in a rather untoward manner are responsible for the free fall of Inaira against the major currencies. All right. Um, I don't know why you guys are trying to drag a statesman of Obas and Joe Caliber into issues of the flight of fantasies for some young fellas. I don't also know why all this hopla about the owning of a bank by this thing, which is any a big deal. As if it's a novelty and the people that give them the space to thrive have become the enemies who do not want them to succeed. If they were and if they were and so the money, why didn't they find the bank from the scratch? I resorted to taking over. No, no, no. You started well, but you ended very you ended badly. Mm -hmm. You started well, but you ended badly. It's not a big deal. It's not a big this is not a big deal now. That is what I'm saying. Why? These people are dead. They're dead and this is not what should be. You should not be dragging, come and be dragging their memories up and down. It is very uncalled for. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy.